This week is National Crime Victims' Rights Week, and Newark is highlighting its new approach to reducing violence. Instead of more policing, social workers and victims' advocates are stepping in. CBS 2's Christina Fan shows us some of the program's early successes. Once the trigger to a deadly uprising, Newark's first police precinct is now the home of the new Office of Violence Prevention and Trauma Recovery, as the city seeks a different approach to public safety. We're not defunding the police, but we're reallocating funds for violence prevention, for trauma recovery. Launched two years ago, the office approaches violence from a public health perspective, seeing people as products of their environment. Kylesha Wingfield Hill says that perspective has been the key to her reaching youth offenders. We don't penalize them for their choices. In fact, we give them other choices. We give them, you know, employment. We give them expungement. We give them access to their licenses. For many families torn apart by tragedy. I'm also a mother that buried three children in this city. The initiative brings hope. Sonia Rogers believes the services could have benefited her sons, all killed by gun violence. A lot of these children are not bad children. They just need someone that shows them that they care. According to the mayor, homicides were at a 60 year low in 2022. Advocates say it's proof the holistic approach is working. We're trying to help the whole individual, not just the part of them that actually made this choice or made this decision. We're trying to figure out what, like, what caused you to make this decision. How did you arrive here? So the city's youth know mistakes made in the past don't have to affect their future. In Newark, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.